lymphatic system, general information, general information, and then lymphatic vessels. Uh, I think you pass abdominal cavity and uh, start from pelvis, from here, start from pelvis. Rectum, all organs of pelvis and lower extremity, from here till here. And abdomen and all another lymphatic drainage from head, neck, upper extremity and thoracic cage, you will answer next time. General lymphology and lymphatic drainage from pelvis, organs of true pelvis and lower extremity, clear? Some words about lymphatic system. Today more better to speak not about lymphatic system, but we speak about lymphoid organs and lymphatic vessels. Lymphatic vessels, that is part of vascular system. The same like arteries, veins and lymphatic vessels, all of them are vascular system or cardiovascular system. And lymphoid organs, they are part of immune system. We speak about primary lymphoid organs or in your textbook central lymphoid organs. They are uh, red bony marrow and thymus and secondary lymphoid organs or in your textbook peripheral organs they are lymph nodes lymphoid follicles in uh, mucous membranes of uh, intestine stomach esophagus urinary system in uh, mucous membrane in mucous membrane of respiratory system everywhere where we have uh, mucous membrane there are present lymphoid follicles do you remember folliculi lymphoidi what solitary folliculi lymphoidi aggregati aggregates follicles they are lymphoid tissue in mucous membrane the same peripheral organ that is a spleen and tonsils in oral cavity in nasal part of pharynx that is the same lymphoid tissue that is secondary lymphoid organs or peripheral lymphoid organs and you read yourself about spleen about lymph nodes structure everything now we continues with lymphatic vessels. Lymphatic vessels start from lymphatic capillaries. And lymphatic capillaries, if, if we compare with blood capillaries, that is blood, it is artery, come to capillar, and vein leaves this capillar. The blood capillar, it opens in both sides. Lymphatic capillar has blind beginning, and after that, lymphatic capillar continues into lymphatic postcapillar, and lymphatic postcapillar continues into lymphatic vessel. Uh, first differences between lymphatic and blood capillar, that is blind beginning. Next, usually lymphatic capillar is wider than blood capillar. Diameter of blood capillar if is near of 20 micrometers. And lymphatic capillars is more than 200 micrometers that is wider and uh, lymphatic capillar have not got basal membrane and the telial cells heat is present and here is the same but in blood capillary we have uh, basal membrane heat is it is absent lymphatic capillar continues into post capillar and border between capillar and post capillar that is first valve in post capillars we have valves and postcapillar has a basal membrane. And lymphatic postcapillar continues into lymphatic vessel. Lymphatic vessels, the same has valves like in veins. And uh, lymphatic vessel, the same like arteries or the same like veins, it has three main codes. 
what is the name of external code of each vessel? Tell me. Tunica vincit, yes. Middle code, tunica media, that is muscular code. And inner layer is tunica. Intima, that is endothelium. Endothelium, yes, you're right. That is why these three codes we can see in arteries, in veins, and in lymphatic vessels. Differences between them only in thickness. Thickest vessel, that is artery, and thinnest vessel, that is lymphatic vessel. So vein, vein, it is thinner than artery, but thicker than lymphatic vessel, clear. Uh, part of lymphatic vessel uh, which take place between two valves, from this valve to this valve. That is lymphangion. Lymphangion, that is anatomical and functional unit of lymphatic vessel. Lymphangion, that is part of, of the vessel between two nearest valves. Lymphatic vessels interrupts with lymph nodes. And uh, lymph com comes to lymph, lymph node, pass through lymph node, and from opposite side continues into another vessel. This vessel, the same, interrupts with lymph nodes. Maybe another lymph node. And large lymphatic vessels, large vessels, which already not interrupts with lymph nodes, that is lymphatic trunk. And we have only four lymphatic trunks in human body. They are right and left lumbar trunks. They join together and form thoracic duct. The same we have bronchomediastinal trunk, right and left, uh, subclavian trunk, truncus subclavius, and jugular trunk. On the left side, left subclavian, left jugular, and left bronchomediastinal, all of them opens into thoracic duct, ductus thoracicus. And ductus thoracicus opens into left venous angle. Who can answer? What is it? Venous angle. That is junction between what and what? Which veins join together and forms venous angle? internal jugular vein joint with subclavian vein and forms brachiocephalic vein and brachiocephalic veins join together and forms superior vena cava yes and this place this place that is venous angle right and left venous angle and uh, thoracic duct ductus thoracicus opens into left venous angle left venous angle and ductus lymphaticus dexter opens into right venous angle. Two ducts, thoracic duct, that is main duct, and right lymphatic duct. Right lymphatic duct consists of right jugular trunk, right subclavian trunk, and right bronchomediastinal trunk. They join together from right lymphatic duct, and this duct opens into right venous angle, and thoracic duct opens into left venous angle. And it receives left jugular, left subclavian, left bronchomediastinal, and it forms with the help of right and left lumbar trunk. Sometime in 20% of cases, maybe intestinal trunk, truncus intestinalis. It is unpaired. If it is present, it is unpaired and it opens into thoracic duct, into thoracic duct. But if it is absent, in this case, large vessels, superior mesenteric vessels, inferior mesenteric, opens into truncus lumbalis, and truncus lumbalis opens into thoracic duct. And beginning of thoracic duct, that is dilation, it has name cisterna, cisterna hyli, highly, cisterna highly, that is uh, cisterna. And then it continues into thoracic duct. That is general lymphology, general lymphology. And now, examples of lymphatic drainage from uh, human body, from inner organs. Look here, for example, lower extremity, that is food, first toy, second, third, fourth, and fifth. That is, that is a food. And all, all in lower extremity, we have two lymphatic networks. 
superficial and deep, the same like in veins, yes. And su superficial lymphatic vessels from first and second toys goes to uh, along of vena safena magna, these vessels goes to superficial inguinal lymph nodes. And superficial vessels from all another toys and lateral side of the foot along of vena safena parva goes to popliteal lymph nodes. And from all deep structures, from muscles, ligaments, capsules of joints, all deep vessels, the same continues into popliteal lymph nodes. And from popliteal and superficial inguinal, lymph goes to deep inguinal lymph node. From deep inguinal then goes to external iliac, then common iliac, then lumbar, and from lumbar lymph nodes start truncus lumbalis, then cisterna hyalic, ductus thoracicus, and left, uh, sorry, left venous angle, and left venous angle. Okay, that is rectum. From upper part of rectum, lymph goes along of superior, vena rectalis superior, and goes to inferior mesenteric lymph nodes, nodi lymph lymphoidae mesenteris inferioris. From inferior mesenteric lymph nodes, lymph goes to truncus lumbalis, cisterna hyalin, ductus thoracicus, and left venous angle. From middle part of rectum, we have internal iliac lymph nodes and sacral lymph nodes. From them, lymph goes to common iliac, lumbar lymph nodes, truncus lumbalis, cisterna hyalin, ductus thoracicus, and left venous angle. Please. So, will I not when the veins separate? Again. Okay. The nodes are located. In the bifurcation of the veins? No, not into bifurcation. Uh, lymph nodes, for example, internal iliac and sacral, they are near of rectum, in uh, fat, near of inner organs. Yes, they are near of veins, but not in bifurcation of veins, near of inner organs. And from a lower part of rectum, Canalis analis and anus uh, lymph goes to superficial inguinal lymph node and from superficial inguinal goes to deep inguinal, external iliac, they are near of your eye. Right. These lymph nodes, external iliac, common iliac, they are near of corresponding ve uh, veins, near of veins, vena iliac externa, vena iliac communis, yes. And then lumbar lymph nodes, truncus lumbalis, and so on. Clear. And in your textbook, present lymphatic drainage from all organs of true pelvis, for example, uterus, from fundus of uterus, upper part of uterus. Uh, lymph goes the same like fallopian, from fallopian tube, from, from the ovary. Lymph goes to lumbar lymph nodes, directly to lumbar lymph nodes. And then truncus lumbalis, cisterna hyalin, ductus thoracicus, and left venous angle. From body, corpus uter, body of the uterus, lymph goes to internal iliac lymph nodes. And from, and from neck, from cervix uteri, goes to sacral, from sacral goes to internal iliac, from internal iliac to common iliac, lumbar, truncus, Lumbalis, cisterna hyalin, ductus thoracicus, and left venous angle. Everything describes in your textbook, and you should prepare, and you will, I give you written test, and you will write lymphatic drainage from organs of true pelvis, from lower extremity next time, and general lymphology. I said about lymphatic capillaries, but some organs have not got lymphatic capillaries. For example, uh, lymphatic capillaries are absent in brain. Because in brain we have cerebral spinal <coughs> fluid, that is 
specific structure only in brain. That is why lymphatic capillaries absent in brain, in meninges of brain, in uh, pituitary gland, they absent in uh, cornea, in lens, in vitreal body of the eye. The same lymphatic capillaries are absent in placenta, in uh, parenchyma of the spleen, in lobule of the liver. Between lobules, in interlobular connective tissue, we have lymphatic capillaries. But inside of lobule of the liver, lymphatic capillaries are absent. They absent the same in red body marrow and in cartilages. In cartilages. Well, general lymphology and lymphatic drainage from organs of true pelvis and lower extremity.